Fitness. Hey, brother, how you doing? What's your name, man? Rob. Brother Rob. How you doing, brother Rob? The clothes on your back. Who? Where did you go to get those? Purchase those clothes that I had in your head. Where did you go to get those things? From your enemy. That's right. That's common sense. That's not hard to understand. You get those things from your enemy. Your people. Your, you didn't go to a factory where your people make those jeans, did you? Or those shoes on your feet or that shirt? Because if they did, would you have to pay for it? No, because you would be a rulership if you had those things. The people that rule over us, our oppressors, they run those, they have, they own those things. They live off a bartering system. Hey, I give you a few uh I give you a few barrels of oil, send some fa send some clothes over for my family. All right, cool. Hey, I give your family some uh, some controllers, some textiles to make clothes. Hey, I give your family a few water facilities to rent so y'all can have good, clean water going into your community. Trust and believe, the people that rule over us, the elite, they don't pay taxes to anybody. They rule the right. world. Right. I know you're like, damn, they rule what? These people are evil and wicked. Give me Job 9 hold that. Give me Job 9 and 24, and we're gonna come back. Those people that rule over you, and they're like, damn, they messed up. They do evil, wicked things. Look at what's going, look at what's still going on in Flint, Michigan. Those people, water is still poison. Eight years. How long? Eight years. Eight years and counting. We would say stop. Eight years and counting. If our people controlled that water facility, do you think that water would still be poison? The, port, the water problem would have been poison from the beginning. Because we are sure that everything going to our people was good and clean. Right. Not poison, not, not defiled. We have good things going into our people. But why are all these atrocities happen to our people? In this store right here, why do we have the worst food going to our people? You go in there and look at the, look at the packaging on, on those foods. High fructose corn syrup, things are high in calories, high in sodium, high in cholesterol. Nothing beneficial for your body. Where's the organic fruits and vegetables? Where are the good clean waters? If that was our store, why would no store say bottled by an Israelite? In this land owned by an Israelite. It doesn't say that. It's always another nation that's on our clothes. It's always another nation that's on a bottle that we're drinking from. Bring it out. It's always another nation on that bill that we're paying. Right. On, that, on that shirt. On that shirt that you're wearing. It's always another nation. That chain that was made, made in India, made in China, made in Taiwan. Bring them up. Never by your own people. Right. The car you drive, you take that thing apart, everything is made from another nation. Right. Made in Japan. Made in Germany. We're in captivity, brothers. The Lord said what? He would send us into captivity. We're going to our nations in want of all things. This world is led by evil people. That's all we go through what we go through. Read what you got. The book of Job, chapter The Book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Yeah. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know what this Lord said? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. God said for breaking his commandments, he would deliver us into our enemies. Right. Right. So if we have enemies, God has an enemy. Right. Right. And that enemy is the wicked one that rules over this earth. Right. That rules over us with much vigor. Bring it out. With hardship. We work, yes sir, we work all day sun up to sundown, we still struggle. Brothers work six days a week, 10 to 12 hour days in the heat. And what do we have to come back to? A two bedroom apartment. Jeez. Roaches. People with AC don't work. Right. You gotta go, you gotta shop in a grocery store. They got poor quality food. Pick them up. That's what we're subjected to because we broke our father's laws. We didn't want to abide by the rules of his house. Right. We had a land of our own. We once ruled this whole globe. Bring it out. But we didn't like it. We wanted more. We wanted to live like the other nations. We wanted other people to rule over us. We wouldn't want God to rule over us. Give me that uh, first Samuel chapter 8. Teacher. Let's get some history on that. Bring it out. Because you brothers know you've been standing for a while. You know you're Israelites. You know you're God's chosen people. We went over earlier in the true image of Christ. That he's a black man according to the Bible. That's right. That his people look like him. We went over there. He's coming to redeem his people. We went over the laws of God, the laws of fringes, the laws of keeping the Sabbath day holy. Set 1 Samuel chapter 8, it started verse 
I want to give a little history for the brothers. Let's start at verse 8. Yes, yeah, good day. First Samuel chapter 8, verse 1. I'm sorry, verse 1. Read that for me. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 8, and verse 1. Bring it out. And it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now, remember, during this time, even today, what you see today is not supposed to be like this. We're not supposed to, we're not supposed to have mayors and governors and senators and delegates and presidents ruling over us. God set up judges of our nation to rule over us. That's right. right. These judges that were set over us held us accountable for keeping God's laws. Right. The people that set up over us today don't keep God's laws. Right. These people are unrighteous. These people are wicked. Read what you got. Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second, Abiel. Jump to verse, let me see where we at. Uh, jump to verse 5. Verse 5. And said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the other, like all the nations. You hear that? The, now that's us. Hold that. Give me Proverbs where it says not to be like the heathen. Proverbs chapter 3. We will go back to that. So we're going to show you in the Bible. Our people, we wanted to be like the other nations. We wanted to be ruled by a king. We didn't want to be ruled by our own people. Right. So God told us not to be like the other nations. Then we're going to jump back to 1st Samuel 8. Read that. Proverbs 3. I mean Proverbs, yeah, give me that. The book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Heavy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. All right, jump out of 1st Samuel 8. God told us to not envy the oppressors and choose none of his ways. What are the ways of the oppressor? We wanted kings to rule over us like the other nations. But God gave us judges of our own people to rule over us. But we didn't want that. That's why the Lord told us in Deuteronomy 28, 47, because we didn't want to keep the commandments where joyfulness and be joyful and glad for the commandments. He punished us. Those judges of our people that ruled over us, they held us accountable to keeping God's commandments with gladness and joyfulness. But they didn't want that. We want to be like the other nations. And God told us, no, don't be like the other nations. But this is what happened. Read that. Uh, no, Joe, jump back to, uh, I'm sorry, jump back to uh, 1 Samuel chapter 8 and read verse uh, 5 again. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 8 verse 5. And said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now, make us a king to judge us like all the nations. So they want to be like all the other nations. Keep reading. But the thing displeased Samuel when they, when they said, Give us a king to judge us. You know what they said? Samuel said, that, that displeased him. Like, why would y'all want a king of another nation to rule over you? God gave us our own people to rule over us. Why would you want that? That's a displeasing thing. Our people, even back then, had hatred in their heart for their own people, just as they do today. While we gun each other down, while we sell drugs to each other. Read. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people. And so Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said, You know what? She still want to listen. Hearken to the voice of the people. Watch this. Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me. God told Samuel, you know what? Do what they told you to do, Samuel. Don't worry about it. Don't be vexed. Because they didn't reject you. They rejected me. They rejected what I told you to tell them what to do. Read. That I should not reign over them. So since they rejected me, that they don't want me to reign over them? Watch this. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of the out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, so do they also unto thee. So you see what he said? We served other gods. We didn't want to listen to God. We didn't want God to reign over us. We wanted a king to reign over us. So what happened? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. 28 and 64. We didn't want to serve God. And we didn't want God to rule over us. We wanted other kings to rule over us. 
when other nations rule over us, this is what we did and this is the result of that. Deuteronomy 20:64. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So you want a king to roll over you? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scatter you from one end of the earth to the other. Y'all not going to be together anymore to support each other. Because your judges will set over you for you to stay together. But now I'm going to scatter you. That's a curse. Us being to and fro all across the world. In bondage. Not in rulership. That's a curse. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. What did this just talk about in First Samuel? Because we didn't want our judges to rule over us. We wanted other kings to rule over us. We fell into idolatry. We started following other gods. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. We didn't know those other gods. But when we came under rulership of under, underneath other nations, we started following those things. That gave us the result of what? Go, jump to verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You see the sound right here? Come closer, brother. I showed him earlier. You see this sign right here? Because we broke God's commandments. Egypt, when you look at the definition of the Bible, uh, Exodus chapter 20 verse 2, lets us know that's talking about slavery. It's talking about bondage. Us going to change, child slavery. So jump back to 68 again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God, our God is going to bring his family that was in iniquity that broke his laws and to slavery again by cargo slave ships right here in the state of Virginia and spread throughout the whole United States. Read what you got. Amen. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland Israel anymore again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Those same people you had to go to in one of all things. You have to serve those enemies right here in this land, America, in any land across the globe where we would carry captive. Read. For born men, for slave men, and born women, and slave women, and no man shall buy you. And nobody will be able to redeem you and save you out of that situation. None of the prominent leaders that we had across this globe could help us. Marcus Garvey couldn't help us. Martin Luther King couldn't help us. Malcolm X couldn't help us. Oh, what's that lady name? Underground Railroad. Uh, Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman couldn't help us. She didn't free nobody. You went from one part of the state in bondage to another part of the country in bondage. You were still in, you were still in your slave land. That's not free. That's not freedom. Freedom is rulership. Right. Freedom, right. freedom is not having to go to your enemy in one of all things. That's right. Freedom is not having to have a driver's license to travel to and fro across the world. Right. Freedom is not being attached to a number when the day you're born. Right. That's not freedom. Freedom is not having to pay for water, a natural resource. That's not freedom. We're still in bondage, brothers and sisters. That's right. We have to repent and come back to God's law. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.